For the CircuitPython Parsec today, I wanted to show how you can use the pixel map inside of the LED animation library to separate a NeoPixel strip into different logical groupings. So one physical strip, multiple logical groupings. It allows you to do some really neat stuff and essentially in code, treat this like it's two strips. But you can see here, I've got one ring here. It's a ring of 24 NeoPixels. I have a little diffuser on there to make it a little easier to look at under the camera. And I'm using two separate comet animations running at different speeds with different colors, treating it like two strips. Not four, but two. Here's how we do it. In code, I am importing the board library to get pin definitions and the NeoPixel library. Then I'm bringing in three sections of the Adafruit LED animation library. I've got Comet, which is the animation effect that I'm using here, a couple of color definitions, purple and green, and then this pixel map uh, business. So I set up the strip, and you can see this is the normal NeoPixel definition, so I'm just saying it's a 24 pixel strip on pin A1, and I'm setting the brightness uh, pretty low, 0 0.05. Then I set up these two logical pixel map groupings, LEDs range A and LEDs range B. You can name those whatever you want. And in there I use the command pixel map LEDs, which is the NeoPixel strip. The range that I'm using, the first one goes from 0 to 11, and then the second one goes from 12 to 23. You just tell it the outer bound number there. Uh, and then I'm setting up a couple of these different animation objects for Comet. Then I fill the whole thing with black, so it turns them all off. And then the main loop of the animation just simply says, run those two animations. So any changes you want to make to one of these, you can do it, and it doesn't affect the other one. And so that is how you can use Pixel Map in the LED animation library to set up multiple logical groupings of NeoPixels on a single physical strip. And that is your CircuitPython Parsec.